welcome back to the blog and the YouTube channel. Today we are going to talk about Facebook pixels. I'm going to teach you how to install your Facebook pixel. Now, before I get started into the how-to and the screen run-through, you're probably sitting there wondering like, what the heck is a pixel and why do I need it? A Facebook pixel is essentially just a little piece of code that enables Facebook to be able to follow your website statistics and visitors around. So what that means is when you install this one Facebook code on your site, it will know what visitor has been to this page or that page or this blog post or that opt-in or whatever you want it to know. And that comes in handy when you are going to run Facebook ads. Now, even if you're not wanting to run Facebook ads right now, you have no clue what Facebook ads are or why you would want to run them, that's okay. You still need this pixel installed on your site, I promise, because it will start gathering data now. And even if it's six months from now, eight months from now, a year from now, you'll still be able to use that pixel in a way to target people who might want to buy your stuff. So again, a Facebook pixel, just a little piece of code that goes on your website to allow Facebook to track users throughout your website, to tell Facebook what they're doing, where they're going, and how they're behaving on your site. All right, so you definitely need it. Don't even ask questions. Now, let's go straight into the how-to, how to install your Facebook pixel. You want to log into your personal Facebook and you want to make sure you have a Facebook page set up. Um, really, that's the only prerequisite to getting a pixel. So then what you want to do is navigate to your ads manager, which it could be in a different spot than mine, but mine is right there. Once you click that, you'll probably likely see nothing here and you may even have to create some type of account. Um, it's been a minute since I've created mine, so I'm not completely sure, but it's very easy done. I'm certain of it. Then what you want to do once you've created an account, if you have to do that, is you want to go to Ads Manager right here and Pixels. Now, Pixels can sound very confusing, but I want to stress to you that you only need one base pixel. If you ever want to get super advanced with your ads and your tracking and things like that, you will change some things around, but it's all one base pixel regardless. So all you have to do is get a pixel. Now, you might have to hit set up pixel um, or something of that nature, but once you've done that, you can hit actions and view pixel code. This is all you need. You need to copy this. All you have to do is click and copy. Okay, now it is copied to your dashboard. Okay, that's literally all you need right now. Go ahead and close out of that. You don't need anything else here. And now we're going to go in and show you how to install it in Squarespace and WordPress. Okay, first up, Squarespace. So if you're in your Squarespace site and you're in the editing portion, you can go to Settings and Advanced and then code injection, and right here in this header, you put in that Facebook pixel code. That's it. You go down, and or you go up and save it, and that is literally all. I'm actually going to delete it because this is not my site, and go back out. But that is literally all. Now let's move on to WordPress. So if I'm in WordPress and I'm in my dashboard, there's a couple of different ways to do this. If you're using Genesis, it is crazy easy. So if it's if you're using one of the Genesis themes, um, all you have to do is go to Genesis theme settings, scroll down to header scripts, and paste it in that box. You likely won't have anything there yet, um, and so you'll just paste it there. If you do have something there, enter down a couple spaces and paste it underneath it. That's it, and then just save changes. Now. If you are not running Genesis, then what you'll want to do is go add a plugin called Insert Headers and Footers. You'll go to your plugin dashboard, and every single time I do a tutorial in WordPress, people tell me to update my plugins. Just in case anybody's thinking that right now, these are not updated 
plugins that need to be updated. They're just notifications and this does need to be updated, but I haven't done it yet. So no worries. Okay. So insert headers and footers is what you need here and just hit install now do, do, and then you can activate now on my site. I don't need this because I already have a header and footer section, but this is for those of you that are not using Genesis or not using some type of child theme and framework setup that already has that built in. Okay. So next, what you want to do is go to settings and insert headers and footers, scripts and header, scripts and footer. This header script is exactly where you'll paste your Facebook pixel. That's it. Paste it there, hit save. It's exactly the same as if I pasted it in this Genesis setting. Now, if you're using Genesis and you followed the first step, you do not need the second step. But if you're using any other type of theme, you will do it here. Now, if you're using Divi on WordPress, let me show you how to get that done. Okay, on Divi, you'll want to scroll down to the Divi header, go to theme options, and then go here to integrations and make sure enable header code is enabled. Then if it is, it will show this little blurb here, which shows the head tag. That right there is exactly where you'll paste your Facebook pixel. So now I've shown you three different ways on WordPress. So no matter what theme you're using, you can get it done. So whether you're on Squarespace or WordPress, this is a surefire way to get your Facebook pixel on your site and you definitely need it. That's it guys, that is all for today's video. Wasn't that really freaking easy? It sounds so scary and you have no clue what it even is and then you get into it and you're like, oh, that was easy, right? So here's the thing. If you are reading this blog post or watching this YouTube video or whatever you're doing, what I want you to do is go over to the blog. If you're watching on YouTube, the link is below this video and go grab the free guide that accompanies this blog post that's going to teach you the basic strategy of running Facebook ads. So for every business, whether you're a product, service, whatever, this is going to be a really good formula you can follow to run Facebook ads now or in the future. Bye y'all.